Hey everyone, Lonesarefan126. I am going to have a breakdown. First, we're going to look at this. I will try not to pause it. Yes, another trailer for Lonesare. Anyway, we'll try not to pause it. And then I will have a mini panic attack. And then break down it, then have another panic attack, okay? 911, what's your emergency? This is Captain Owen Strand requesting emergency assistance. Need a thrill? We can't do this without you. We need our captain back. Check out 911 Lone Star anytime. <gasps> Let's just keep on coming. It's amazing what can happen. Wait, did, hold on. I'm sorry. What did Mateo say, Paul? I'm sorry. Now I have to go back. I'm sorry. Look, can we, can we just talk? I have a theory for this. I have a theory for this right here. I have a big old ass theory. We'll talk about that in a few minutes. Let's just keep on coming. <gasps> I think you did. It's amazing what can happen when a family never stops fighting for each other. We never give up. 911 Lone Star. Okay. Now that we got that, go back here, all the way back here. Blah, 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 blah. Who's this? Because you see him back here, I think. Yeah. To me, that looks like the person who killed himself. It really does. It, it can't be him because he died. So who is this? Who is this fool? And then, as you can see, Owen like tackles him. What? And then, then, then Carlos is here. I have a big old ass theory for this, right? And I have a big old ass theory for for this. Big old ass theory, right? So, remember yesterday with the picture? I will come back to that. I'll show you. Remember this picture here? And then, like, there's, there's this fool in the back with a gun? Yeah. <clears throat> so, what if Carlos gets shot, okay? And then TK and his team are called to the end. They go, like, a fight, or not a fight, fight. A cop has been shot. And then they arrive. And TK, this little baby right here, sees that it's his ex boyfriend who's going to become his boyfriend very soon after that. We all know what's going to happen. Like, because Tim, the creator, said, It's not the end of the channel, so I just like separating people. I'm like, Yeah, you do. You've done it many of times. And it hurts every time you do it. <clears throat> So then he fr or the, there was this other theory that people had that when he's called to a scene, like someone's after OD and then that gives him flashbacks. He's like, Ugh! but it, look, look at these pictures. It looks like they're in the same house or the same place or wherever it is. It looks very similar. I mean, look over there and then look over here. It is very, very similar. And I, I, I have a th good title theory up here. And then there's this other one where all of the photos are there. I mean, oh, look, he looks like he's about to cry. I'm not able for that. Look, because, like, there's this fool over here. You can see him. There's a fool. Sorry, sorry, Carlos, honey. No, stop it. There. There's someone over here with a gun, and it's not a police officer, because look at the way Carlos is holding his gun, compared to this fool over here. So clearly, he shoots Carlos. TK's team gets alert, they go, oh, an officer has been shot, please report to the scene, ASAP. They arrive at the scene, TK looks down, I'm just hard to zoom in on a laptop, I'm not really used to this. TK looks down, it's Carlos, he's like, crap, 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 Nancy comes along and she's like, oh, shoot, yeah. And then, he's kind of, he's kind of frozen, and then Nancy and Tommy are like, we'll take it from here, just, just breathe, okay? They're just like, calm down, breathe, we'll sort it, it's fine, he's like, it's Carlos, it's Carlos, it's, or that would be me, one or the other. Is the other him, or it's me? Probably me. So, uh, and then, because, like, like, the next episode, Carlos will realise he still loves TK. Sorry, my dad just called me there. Anyway, 
In the next episode, Carlos will realise he still loves TK, right? But his face says it all, as I have stated plenty times already. You guys are sick of hearing that. But then, whatever episode this is, probably episode 3, which we won't see for two weeks, because after the episode on Tuesday, like, it comes out on the Monday, but I can't watch till Tuesday, anyway. <clears throat> after that... It's going on a week long break and we're no doubt getting a cliffhanger and I will be in shutdown mode for so long. I'll have to be like <laughs> with my friends and be like, it's okay, shall I be like, it's not okay? TK's on a ventilator, his life is hiring in the balance, Carol still loves him, but TK doesn't love him at this moment in time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My friends have just grown to accept that. They're like, it's okay, you're all right. And I'm just like, Ugh. Yeah. Yeah, that's how you know you have real friends when they're just like, it's okay, and they don't tell you to shut up about your obsessions. I mean, they'll tell you, uh, or like, after a, a really long time to shut up about it, but they'll listen. That's how we know we've got real friends. But seriously, what if, what if... Carlos gets shot and he's really hurt, he's probably like, passed out on the ground, he comes and he goes, and then he just freezes and Nancy walks up here's Nancy right she walks up and she like she's going TK and then she walks like as she's walking up and then she goes oh shoot and she looks at the floor and Carlos is there passed out and he's like hey, girls. the emotional damage that I get from Lone Star is unreal it's unreal I mean yes I get emotional damage from original 911 but this one's 10 times worse no no that's a lie 50 times worse maybe 100 times worse this is not fun it's it's not fun that's the thing said yesterday, what should I move my loans to, they said. It'll be fun, they said. <laughs> it was fun, up until all the drama that came. I mean, in the first episode, we had enough drama, but then everything was kind of okay. And then, as if that was enough, they inflicted us with drama and emotional damage all the way through season one, all the way through season two, and we're just there for starting season three. And they don't even give us a break to like <laughs> we're coming in with the emotional damage straight away. Plus the start of season two, there wasn't really that emotional damage to give. But now they're just like, oh yeah, we're starting already. And we're like, we need time to process stuff. And they're like, we don't care. I wish there's been recording for eight minutes already. Oh wow, okay. This is emotional damage right here. Oh, also I'm wearing my yellow TK hoodie because, yeah, dressing like your comic book character just feels so good. You should do it. I mean, I have countless hoodies that TK would wear. I even have this one that you just put over your head instead of zip up like the rest of them. And I call that the official TK hoodie because it, it, it's just the official one and I wear it all the time so yeah going off topic though Curse comes in this fool over here shot the bada bing bada boom probably in the abdomen or the shoulder or, or the no nothing like not really the leg it'd have to be somewhere fatal like the chest or or better yet no or better yet the lung just like TK twinsies twinsies they both have a scare over their chest the exact same spot or or better yet opposite long mirroring here's a symbol that shows we're soulmates <laughs> I swear to god the emotional damage count from this show alone is unreal original 911 yeah emotional damage but it's not half as bad as this Lord Star goes over the top. Like, like, Tim said he prefers Lord Star to the original 911. 
He created both of it. He said he prefers that one. And he's put extra effort into season three of Lone Star. Does he want to kill us? I think he does. Also, also, the premiere of the first episode in season three. <clears throat> that had the most viewers ever. And it was rated as the number one scripted show. And I was like, <gasps> we're that slow. And then we're just that step closer to getting a season four. I know we've only started with season three, but we're that step closer. I won't have to say goodbye to TK anytime soon unless he dies in, in the lake, which I really hope he won't because, because I can't have my biggest comfort character let go of my hand because she's, she's been holding my hand this entire time and without him I'm suicidal so yeah oh. yeah 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 okay <clears throat> watch now this will happen though I really look at me moving my mouse around this just shows how panicky I am at the moment do you see do you see my mouse flying around the place yeah so he comes in, investigating the place. He looks around. This fool behind the goes, and then they're caught in the scene. She goes, and he goes, and he just stops dead in his tracks. And as he goes, TK, and then she walks up. She's like, oh crap, okay, okay. And then he's like, and she's like, Tommy, get in here. We need help. TK needs help. Help me. I mean, that won't happen, but something, like, yeah. I need some comedy in this, well, I, we did have comedy in episode one, but I need some comedy in the next coming episodes, kind of lighten the mood a tiny bit, because I will be on the verge of passing out because of my panic attacks and stuff. So, yeah. Can we just talk about a week-long break? That means there'll be a like Tuesday on my worst day timetable wise, right? So I will have to deal with not a new episode of Lone Star and a big ass cliffhanger because we all know that's coming. And then Ronan, little cheeky bugger, he goes, I can't wait to see what they feature in the promo for episode three. And I'm like, you will be the death of me. He's gonna be the death. I'm not even joking. He will be the death of me. <clears throat> I'm sorry, but watch. No, what's the betting that it is Carlos Reyes on the floor? What's the betting? I am going to bet you four euro that it is Carlos Reyes on the floor. What is the betting? What is the betting? Also, what's the betting? But they broke up because Carlos popped the question. I bet you guys eight euro. Because four and four, that's eight euro. I bet you that amount. Oh, God. Oh, so did I tell you that he gave us the description for episode three, right? He gave us the description. Uh, I don't have it in front of me now, but I'm trying to remember it. And he goes like, the storm continues to cause havoc in Austin. And it says, and meanwhile... Chica's life hangs in the balance. In the balance. Edge of death. He is on death's doorstep for the million time in these three seasons. He's on death's doorstep again. How do you think I feel about that? How do you think I feel about that? I'm dying. I'm, 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 I'm dying. This is not fun. It's not very fun. I don't, I hate when this happens because you know the amount of panic that goes through my body, the amount of adrenaline that magically appears? I could, I would go through the roof. Yeah. And it's just. Ugh. At least I have the DK pillow. At least I have that. I mean, I'm going to be crying when hugging that probably. I've actually. Uh, did I actually ever cry watching Lonster? I can't remember. Did I cry? Well, oh yeah, I did, I did, I did. When, when uh, TK said the words that we don't speak of. That is an Encanto reference. You, if, you, if you've watched it, you'll understand it. He said a phrase that we don't speak of. Encanto reference. It's like the guy we don't speak of or something. Oh. <sighs> Mm. 
across the bed. The curls were slid in the floor covered in blood, and Chica sees him like he's in a pool of his own blood, and Chica is just standing there. Look at his worried little face! Did, didn't I say it? Didn't I say that Carlos would get shot and GK would realise he still loves him? I'm psychic! I think I'm very much psychic! <laughs> this, is, this is not fun on any level at all. Emotional damage. Do that audio is going around on TikTok. Emotional damage. Yeah. Yeah. Emotional damage right here, people. Right here. Uh-huh. Okay, that's uh, pretty much all I got for this video. I'm traumatized. Um, I, I just... I, oh. But we're so gonna get into fire, aren't we? Aren't we? And then we're going on a week break for absolutely no reason. And then, and then Ronan and Carlos will be no Ronan and Rafa will just be like, <laughs> see you in two weeks, and we'll just be like, we'll just be dying, we'll be into eternally screaming right there, and. And they'll just be like, oh, these poor guys. And I'll be like, <laughs> is Tia gonna die? Everybody's saying they won't kill him off. Because he is one of the main characters. And they go, he, no, 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 he's not the main character. His dad is the main character. But we don't want him to be the main character. But they, I mean, they killed him in season one, episode one. They killed him, but briefly. He was dead for like five minutes. Then, almost died later on in season one. Died in season two multiple times, almost. And now here we are again. Season one, episode two, episode three, stretches across, stretches and stretches across. Three episodes, doesn't it? Probably two and three, it will stretch across. Or maybe it'll stretch across four. We, we don't know. We don't, like... I'd much prefer if he didn't go anywhere near, like, anything dangerous for the rest of his life. I'd just wrap him up in bubble wrap and keep him waddling around like a penguin. <laughs> Why can I see that? Why can I see that? I can just see him in bubble wrap. He's just waddling around like a penguin. He's like, Dad, get me out of this. He's like, no. You almost died too many times, Sammy Child. <laughs> nope. He's like you fell into an eye you fell into a lake and you froze to death. They had to clear and shock you. Do they clear and then shock? Yeah, they had to do that, the trailer. If they have to do that like three times, I'm going to be crying. I'm gonna be probably crying. <sighs> and he's on a ventilator, he can't breathe on his own. That's fun. That's that's fun. Tika's is just casually dying. <sighs> he does this every single season. Every single season. Every single season, he has to have a near-death experience. Either at the start or towards the end. At the, oh, oh my god, he actually has the start of season 1, episode 1. Death. Season 1, episode 8, near the end. Death. Jesus. Season 2, episode 8. Almost near death. Season 2, episode 12. Near death. <sighs> Is this just an annual thing that he does? This is just an annual thing that he does, isn't it? It's tradition, isn't it? Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm done. I'm, I'm done. I'm sorry. I'm done. Okay. I've been recording for 20 minutes. Okay. That's it for this video, guys. I'm done. I might go cry now and, um... Yeah, I will be probably holding a reaction video after I watch Alone Star on a Tuesday, but probably after I have my homework done. I'll see you guys in my next video. Uh, thanks for watching, and um, yeah, see ya. This is just an annual thing that you do, don't you? Okay, bye.